is the space where I could have died. This is the space where I could have been here in a wheelchair with you. I could have told you my story from a wheelchair. And, uh, and I'm not. I I'm telling my story standing eye to eye with you and, and talking about, uh, about, about surviving uh, being hit by a truck and smashed into a boat. Joaquin's best friend, who now lives in Kansas, was driving that truck and relives the moment he accidentally crushed his best friend. That day was probably um, one of the worst days of my life. It's extremely difficult to watch your best friend and somebody that you love and care about that much go through something to that magnitude and be knowing the whole time that you're the one that caused that event to happen. Standing here, I had the boat in my hand and I kind of barely looked over my shoulder to the roar of the truck engine. The truck hit me directly in the back. It picked me up and slammed me into the side of the boat. I put my foot on the gas pedal to prevent it from going forward, but the car was actually in drive, and um, you know, the car basically went straight forward and pinned him in between the boat and the front of the truck. At that moment, I felt my back pop. I felt uh, just crushed inside. I felt my pelvis shift. That, that, that pain, is, 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 that's indescribable. I mean, indescribable. I immediately put the truck in reverse and slammed on the gas, backed it up as quickly as I could, and popped out and ran down to, you know, help my best friend. After several tests at Baptist Hospital, he was given this news. Shockingly enough, the, the doctors told me that um, due to my exact height and my exact uh, health, the, the truck struck me directly on the butt, and I wasn't damaged. His six foot two inch frame saved his life, but doctors said it would be months before he would walk again. In a way, I didn't want to hear it. And in a way, I, I chose never to hear that. He turned to Dr. Martin Grossman, a chiropractor. He was still using a cane at the beginning. He was um, having difficulty standing on his feet. Those treatments combined with massage therapy and acupuncture has Joaquin walking pain free. And there is no one right way for everybody. And so you got to do what's right for you. And Joaquin did what was right for him, and he won. One, one survival story out of thousands, and, and it's not enough to just survive. It's after you've survived, what do you do? Roxanne Vargas, NBC Miami.